Hello everyone, welcome to Alex518 So today, I'm going to share our success repair story for the Kathu 8000 controller For this video, you can learn one of the unique workaround for fixing the power area of this controller So stay tuned, the details are coming up right now Below is the image of the actual faulty controller. On the left side is the actual unit and on the right side is the image after removing the cover. As you can see, the only main component is the RS2300 controller itself. While it appears simple, the replacement of this controller cost around 11k USD and 9 weeks lead time from the UEM. Our support is very crucial to finding a workaround for this unit as quickly as possible in order to restore the equipment and resume the production run. For the unit background, the cat hole controller have a power failure and it is installed in a wet process equipment. As I mentioned, the replacement cost is 11k USD and have a 9 weeks lead time from the OEM. Alright, so for the workaround, we initially identified that the power circuit area was faulty due to the high frequency transformer having an open coil. Since it has no markings, finding a replacement would be very challenging. So we decided to take a different approach. We isolated the problematic power circuit area and attempted to install an external power an external power supply or DC source for 5 volts and negative 12 volts. And it worked! As shown in the lower right image, the indicator now shows the unit in, in a standby condition after installing the external DC source. This slide, I can explain further how we isolated the power circuit and installed the external DC source to supply the 5 volts and negative 12 volts. First, we cut the output pins from the circuit area and solder the wires from the external DC source. I apologize for not having the actual putus after we completed the installation because at that moment, we are in the rush mode to get the equipment up and running. In some cases, we don't have the luxury of time to take extra steps capturing photos. As our main priority is to get the equipment up and running as quickly as possible. Thank you! Alright, so I would like to give another illustration, but this time I want to uh, show a little bit realistic uh, images, alright? So uh, as you can see, let's say we have this uh, sample circuit board, and uh, here we have the faulty power circuit area, in which we need to isolate and replace by external DC source. Okay, let's say we identified that the two paths are the uh, output of this uh, faulty power circuit area. So the output would be the, the positive side and the negative side, alright? So the next thing we need to do is to uh, purchase a power supply 
with the same uh, voltage specifications and also current specs with the faulty power circuit area all right so after we cut uh, what we need to do then is to uh, wire the output of the external power supply and soldered into the circuit board re replacing the lines of the power area so um that's actually the basic setup for uh, fixing this uh, power of uh, fixing this faulty power circuit area by replacing with external power supply so hopefully my explanation is clear but if you have uh, questions or uh, you want more clarifications please go to comment sections and let me know i'll try my best to answer you thank you you can purchase the external power supply or dc source from amazon ebay element 14 or rs components or you can just pick it up from a nearby electronic shop please double check the voltage and current specifications from the faulty power circuit area the external power supply you purchase should have the exact same voltage the current can be equal or higher but not lower you'll need to determine how to install wire or soldered into your unit without compromising safety or functionality all right so for the benefits of course we have saved 11k usd by avoiding the purchase of replacement unit and then we also restored the equipment on the same day and we avoided the long downtime and replacing the faulty circuit area on the board with external DC source is a new thing we have discovered and proven today that it can work thank you